Hello, everybody. It's the end of day one, and uh, I think it's been a tremendous day. What do you think? Yeah, it's been really awesome from my perspective. Some fantastic sessions. Yeah, we had with a uh, huge deal of preparations, but but the fact that uh, so many people showed up today, uh, I think we had an average of way over 100 people. Um, yeah. The tech was, was even better than last year. We... we, we we earn from the experience and the improvements. That was cool. Well, I love it. Yeah, it certainly felt a little bit less stressful than last time when it was our first time doing everything. So, yeah, great. That's expected, yeah. Really good. Sure. The one thing that, that came to mind was that, that uh, given the high number of visitors, we had way too few pictures. So please, all of you listening out there or looking at the recording, um, our recording won't work. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're listening now, um, please head to the photo booth, which we mentioned this morning. And maybe we should remind people more frequently, we need more pictures. We want the virtual group picture. So uh, I think it's in the tracks uh, part of the Vietli platform. Fun stuff. That's a photo, bo photo booth. Please take a picture or two. Yeah, I really loved your picture with your helmet. Each year, your costumes get more and more elaborate. I can't wait to see when we have an in-person event what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's great. I I really appreciate seeing people having a bit of fun as well. So, um, yeah. On that note as well, um, we have a poll in Vietly. So on the left-hand side, you'll see a section for polls, and it's asking you what's the most common version of Mautic you're using. So if you haven't answered that yet, do hop over there and tick a box. Hopefully it won't be 1.0. <laughs> I'm really crossing my fingers. We know there are still some people on that version. Yeah, um, I was wondering, yeah, we... I was wondering why you bring this up, uh, it will bring this up in the context of fun stuff, but yeah, Mautic 1, that'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Other than, than that, uh, I would also encourage everybody to uh, take advantage of the networking area. I, I hung out there a little bit today, but always like like 10 minutes and then out. And, and there was not much traffic. There's also the, the option to chat to each other. Maybe you didn't discover or some didn't discover. I uh, got messages from several people. And I think we should remind everybody that that's a good way to get in touch on, on a text uh, level and maybe even make an appointment or something in the networking area. Yeah, and it's almost like the equivalent of the hallway track, isn't it? Like a normal conference. So yeah. when you hop in there, there might be some people sat at a table and you can just kind of drop in and join the conversation. Um, or you can make your conversation private so that you don't have people dropping in. So, yeah, it's a nice way of having those kind of serendipitous moments where you meet someone you might not have otherwise met, usually over a cup of coffee or a beer in the yeah, bar. Um, yeah. And it will be open after this closing keynote. So if you've not had a chance because you've been so busy with all the awesome sessions, you could just head there after we finish the keynote and go and have a chat in the networking area with some people and maybe with a cold beverage if it's the right time of day for that, wherever you're located. Or maybe yeah. a coffee if you're still in the office. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good point. It's it's getting hot over here, and it's going to get yeah. even hotter tomorrow, like like 35 Celsius. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I could. Well, okay, I'll, I'll have a cold drink, something. <laughs> yeah. Um, I noticed. I noticed that we had a huge bandwidth of, of talks today, and, and they were pretty even evenly crowded. So it was really something for everybody. Which is which is perfect. And I talked to a colleague who said the same thing. Um, I didn't have much chance uh, to to listen to talks. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I will do that after the fact. But uh, how did your own one go? The fire fireside chat. Yeah, really good. Yeah. So that was a fireside chat with Dries Boutart, and we were talking about funding and open source projects. Mm. Um, I think we explored some really interesting topics and it, it's a really relevant topic for us in Maltic at the moment with yeah. both the side of how do you raise funds in open source projects, but also how do you actually use your funds mm -hmm. in a transparent way in your project and how can we 
have ways that we can actually fund contributions if there are things that we really want to see in the project or if a contributor has a really great idea and they're willing to work on it but they can't do it for free they'd like to have mm. some kind of way of uh, being paid for that but it's something that would be really valuable to the project and the product team really want that yeah. so yeah it was a really interesting discussion with his experiences from Drupal and open source and some of the mm. things he shared were great so watch the video after we've rendered it yeah promise <laughs> yeah it, it's we, we did have we did begin that discussion we did take first steps in, in that directions uh we all know it's it's a huge opportunity and uh, yeah mm -hmm. i love the fact that you're taking it to the next level uh yeah. did you have some sort of virtual campfire or how did you do it do you know i should have done that shouldn't i i should have done like a screen share with like an animated gif of a bonfire <laughs> or a youtube video i just didn't think about it to be honest yeah. next yeah. year next year okay <laughs> okay there we go um yeah and again so so many good things today and then so many good speakers also so thank you to to all Ooh. the speakers uh do we have them on a list i think we do uh, we but have... you've jumped like five slides ahead of me so bear with me a sec oh, whilst yeah. i catch up <laughs> <laughs> there we go <laughs> oh yeah Ta-da! yeah awesome <laughs> yeah crazy and um yeah, and every single one, every single one of them put a lot of effort into their part, and I, I know what it takes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we really appreciate that, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. Myself. Especially people who are doing more than one session, because both you and I know, Eki, what it's like when you sign up rather ambitiously when the call for paper comes out. You're like, oh, I've got all these amazing ideas, and suddenly you realize you've got four talks to prepare. <laughs> So those of you who are doing more than one session, big thanks to you. <laughs> yeah. Frankly, I'm glad that we made the move to a two days schedule rather than mm. one crazy long day like, like we did last year. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good thing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, also, of course, I mean, you already did show all the slides, but but uh, can do that again. A huge thank you to all our sponsors. Uh, the gold sponsors, Equia and Facet Interactive and, and Leuchtfeuer Digital Marketing, um, as well as uh, the others, the silver sponsors with uh, Drop Solid and Droptica, uh, our Bronx, Bronx? Wow, what's the English word? Accelerant, anyway, Bronx sponsor. Oh my God. <laughs> and of course, we had uh, OS Training uh, delivering a, a fantastic training uh, yesterday. I talked to uh, two people who, who joined in and said they even had a really good discussion after the training, which was really valuable among the attendees. So I like that fact too. Yeah, and there was also a webinar, I think, in the evening, wasn't there as well, for sort of intermediate to advanced, which is a new thing. So if people found that helpful, do let yeah. us know in, in feedback. It would be really helpful to, to know how you thought about these training sessions. Yeah, that was from, from Acquia, right? And, and so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, thumbs up as well. Yeah. yeah, and I really encourage you to visit the sponsors booths. I know it's like crazy busy when you're trying to get from session to session, but in the lunch breaks or like after we finish this keynote, you could just hop in and say hello. I know for, in Acquia, they've got some exciting Oculus device thing, which I had so old I had to Google to find out what it was, um, which they're giving away. So you just need to fill in the form um, on the um, landing page and you'll be entered into that raffle. And uh -huh. there's lots of other things happening in the other uh, booths. So the the sponsors are what makes this event possible. So please do go and visit them, go chat with them, support them, because uh, they're supporting us. So absolutely, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, can I can I do commercial break? Don't forget to get your swag, Mordex swag. Yes, the sponsors are on the backside. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so everyone should have got an email, although if you got your ticket today in the last 12 mm. hours, mm. you may not get it right away. We have a slight delay, so you don't get billions of emails all at once. I hear that's a good practice. Um, so you'll get a link where you can just fill in where you're based because we have two swag stores, and then you'll get an email with the code. So if you haven't done that yet, go have a go. Yeah. 
if you don't like the t-shirt, there's a ton of other things. It's it's a spread spreadshirt shop, so you can have your bottle or, yeah. or mug or whatever with with the Nordic yeah. logo or with the conference logo. Yeah. Yay. And um, then we need to recognize the entire team that is that was supporting this event or that is still supporting this event because it's going on tomorrow. We we had a ton of work in the preparation and I'm very, very happy mm. that we had so many people involved this time um, and we're able to spread the work among many. But once again, um, I have to say that that most of it was uh, on your shoulders again, Ruth, like, <laughs> like some people already expected. Well, that's yeah, bad. it has been a slightly busy week mm. or so. <laughs> Yeah. But everything comes together in the end when we all pull together and work together. So, yeah, it's been really cool. Yeah, I think it's it's rewar rewarding when it goes as well as it does, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Special thanks to, also, to... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say also, like, big kudos to Oliver Toby. He's been running track one all day since we started this morning. And <laughs> he just got relieved of duty. And I think he's watching in Vietly at the moment. So... Big yeah. thanks for that. It's it's hard work being an Don't MC be. for that whole time. <laughs> Crazy, so yeah. um yeah, yeah, amazing job. So yeah. I think wow. Favor also was doing a whole track um herself as well. So yeah, oh awesome job. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Hoax. Really, really. Um tomorrow we will have a slightly different schedule. We will start way later because this time we're more navigating towards the Americas. Um, so mm -hmm. uh, in UTC time, we, we start around lunch or after lunch time, and we go all the way through, uh, well, whatever, midnight my time anyway. <laughs> and uh, it's even more sessions than today. Um, one of which is the community council panel that is open to your question. I mean, we, we will have a good conversation ourselves, but we, we're there to answer your questions. So please prepare them, ask them during during the panel or send them up front to, to David Ch David Chagel. That is a david at wishook.com, w-i-s-hook.com. Um, and he's uh, happy for, uh, uh, what that, he's appreciating every question now. My English. <laughs> <laughs> It's better than my German, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really and try. I think probably one of the most um, popular questions I've had that I've answered today has been, will there be recordings? Because there's so many amazing sessions. I haven't been able to watch X, Y, Z. Yes, there will be recordings. I'm sure you can imagine we have like 50 sessions to render and upload to YouTube. So it's a huge amount of work. If you'd like to help us with that, just join Multicon uh, on Slack, the Multicon channel, and let us know that you'd like to help. Um, it's quite easy. We just have to bolt a couple of little videos on this start and finish and make sure that the audio and the video is all okay. Um, but many hands make light work. So the more people we have involved, the quicker we can get those videos up and the quicker you can watch the ones that you missed. <laughs> so yeah, do do kind of raise your hand if you'd like to help with that. Yeah. It last the, the, we, last time it was one or two weeks, I think, wasn't it? That we yeah, it up? was pretty pretty quick. So, well, let's let's under promise, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that that reminds me of. I, I also uh, got one of those questions or multiple uh, really about the recordings, and one was really uh, one of our Mordic friends in the US, and. Uh, he got all mm. confused about AM and PM. So apologies mm. if if the time uh, declarations are not always completely bulletproof. Uh, we are doing our best. In some places, we display in your local time zone. In others, it's uh, UTC. Um, mm -hmm. We need to revisit maybe and, and see that it's clearly marked everywhere because it's a shame if, if yeah. people miss something because they just misunderstood it should be on the agenda it should um show you in your local time zone yeah. on the website and it the should show you so. 24 hour time as well so when you look at the time it should say like 1500 for 3 p.m and what have you but on my version for some reason i have a toggle between utc and um london time so it might be a feature that session eyes are testing 
Who yeah, knows? it was kind of introduced today on the fly or something. Yeah, today, I think. I noticed yeah. it and thought, well, that wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> okay, so apologies so, uh, if, if anybody else gets sorry. confused by that. But get but confused. other than that, the feedback so far has been fantastic. And I, mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate every feedback that people give, um, especially if you have uh, ideas for improvements. So do give us feedback, yeah. any channel, any time. We will do a little poll after the event as well. But uh, mm -hmm. please, please give us your ideas and ob observations. We we are really happy and try to get better next yeah. time. Absolutely. And I'm just looking at the chat in the um, in the room, and mm -hmm. everyone's saying awesome day, awesome yeah. intense day, lots of info. Eki's oh, yeah. helmet, I think, wins the day. Eki's helmet was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last year I had like like a. A textile one, a fluffy one. This time I tried so hard to get a real one. <laughs> Next time there won't oh, be in a helmet. <laughs> okay. Great. Anything okay, else? I think we're ready then. No, I think that's us. We're done for the day. So do hop into the event platform and, you know, have a chat in the networking area or just go finish a day or get on and with your work. Pictures. Middle of the day. And take pictures in the booth. photo booth. Yes. <laughs> with or without All the right. beer. <laughs> With or without the beer or coffee yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.